In this video I want to look at how you work with the slides and I've created a project and I'm going to click on the add slide button and I'm going to choose add animated slide from the collection. So for this video let's go down and pick a simple, let's have a look, simple slide down here. Okay, it doesn't matter which one, let's just pick this one. I'm going to click on add single to add the single slide to our video. Now, if we click on the slide in the timeline, you can see it preview in the preview window. The preview button up here previews the entire video. Now, we've only got one slide, so at the moment that's all we're going to see in the preview. With the slide selected, you see the editing area down here where we can define preferences and customize the slide for our own purposes. So on the text tab, this handles the text on our slide and we've got two bits of text. We've got this one, Our Business. Let me just pause the preview for a second. Uh, we've got our, our Business and we've got Business Presentation Header. So we've got two bits of text and you can see over here under the text tab we've got text area one and text area two. Text area one you can see is Our Business and text area two is Business Presentation Header. So let's change text area one Let's put the name of my website and you can see I deleted a space that was before it in this editing box over here so let's put that back to move the text down near that line down there and let's edit the second one search engine optimization okay so what can we do now well with each of these text areas we can define the font family, font size, alignment and colour. So let's have a look. We can change the colour of the text let's say to black if we wanted. We can change it to any colour we like just from selecting it from here. I'm going to leave it as white for now and I'm going to change the S search engine optimization text. Let's change that over here. Right. Let's have a look at the different font families. This one I've got Easy SEO News selected, so if I change the font here, you can see it change in the preview, and you can go down and you can find the font that you want to use. Okay, let's keep that Os Oswald font, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Make it up to 200. Now you can see it's now gone down from where it was. It was up here, now it's down there. We can try deleting that space and see if that helps, but it's still a little bit high. And fortunately, we've got these offsets here. We've got an X offset, which if we move, you can see the text moving to the left and to the right with a positive X offset. Change that back to zero. And the Y offset will move it up and down. So X will move it down, uh, sorry, plus will move it down and, y and minus will move it up. So let's just move it down to where it was on that line. Okay, that's fine. So we've moved the text around. We could do the same over on this one as well, but we're going to leave that. Let's go over and have a look at the image setting. Now the image setting on the slide almost definitely will have one image area and that is the background image and we can put a background image in there if we want to if by clicking the browse okay let me just pick let's pick a panda for that and you can see and you see that's now gone in the background the picture isn't big enough to actually fill the the background if we want the image to fill the full background then it actually helps to know the dimensions of the slide and if we just go back we can have a quick check you can see it's 1280 by 720. So we need an image 1280, 1280 by 720. And I do have one down here that I prepared, Stone Lantern. And you see now that fills the full width. I've got the offset slightly wrong here, but you can use the offsets, look, to move it left and right. Just like you can with the other stuff we've seen. And you can also use the Y offset left and right. What you could do if your image doesn't fill the full screen, let's just remove that one and we'll put back in the panda. What you can do is you can scale it and you've got an X scale and a Y scale. You can see as, as I'm doing here you can resize it and you can move it on the screen so that it does actually fill. 
problem of course is if your image is a low resolution then it's not going to look great but you get the idea you can fill the screen with a smaller image by stretching it Let's just remove that the other option you've got with a background image is you can use the gallery and the gallery comes with some characters that you can use you could add the image of the character I've got all these scales let's just go back to about a scale of one and we'll put the offset back as well oops I'm going the wrong way well, you get the idea we can put the character there and we might actually want the character over to the left here okay so you can move the characters around now there are actually some tools as well that you can use to create your own characters and I'll look at that one of those in a later video in this series okay for now let's just remove the avatar and we'll move on to the video section and this basically will allow you to put a full HD video as background so let's add a video to see how this works there you go you can see there's a video in the background now and as you can see you've got the X and Y offset and scale if you need to move the video background in a little bit let's just go back to the image for a second because one thing I should really have mentioned is that a lot of slides will have two image areas let me just find a slide that does and if we scroll down here a little bit okay this one says background image video and image um, okay I think this one does let's have a look okay you can see we've got all these different text areas representing each of these but the image you've got a background image and you've got an image area let's just show what happens if we put something into the image area Okay, we've got the image area over here to the left of these bullet points so just be aware that some slides this one only has one image area this one has two okay let's just delete this business this second slide and we'll go back to the one that we were working on and I'm going to remove the background video that's not what I wanted to click click the remove button and we're back with this let's go to the animations tab and we can have a quick look at what the animations tab has if we click the on next to it you can see an animation appears and there are often more than one animation you can scroll through them by clicking on the plus or the minus so you can see another animation that one looks like rain number three okay there's a line coming up through the back something growing four is the rain five we've got some snow okay and that's that's it, it goes up to five the second animation on this slide we can see is an arrow we can scroll through different animations again obviously if you have an opt-in box underneath the video you could use those arrows and there's a few quite a few different ones there let's turn that off so that's what the animation does on the slide the final tab you've got is outline and let's have a look at that now the outline shows the shapes on the screen and one of these shapes is likely to be the background another one is likely to be any other objects you've got possibly this line here but we can check to see what they really are by clicking the check mark next to them okay so that one is the background and we can change the background color then just by selecting it there we go and this one would be there we go the line so we can change the line color as well if we want to and we've got opacity slider here we can change how strong the color is and also this one here and we've got the X and the Y offset as before let me just change this back okay let's put it there for a moment So as you see, can see, you can modify these slides. Up here, we've got what it looked like originally. Down here is what it now looks like with the optimizations that I've done. Now, down the bottom underneath the slide, you've got a few more options. The first option we've got here is background overlay. And this is simply um, an overlay on the slide. I can show you, if I click on the plus to change it to the first one, you can see it's, it's actually put a border around there. And I can click it again for a different border. 
and so on and it scrolls through those borders so that's just a border if you want it and put it right back to the beginning if you don't want any border on there the second option you've got is delay slide viewpoint and what this does is it pauses the slide at the point where the focal point of the slide has just been displayed so the focal point would be that with a, with a full text on there I can delay that on the screen by increasing this value and you can see there it's increased by 35 point uh, 353 frames each frame 24 frames equals one second so that's more than 10 seconds so that would be quite a long delay let's just decrease that to about a three second delay and have a look and now that should stay on the screen for about three seconds before the slide moves to the next one in the series although we don't have a next one but you saw it hung around there for a little bit longer and I suppose similar to that we've got this extend slide here at the end and this basically will extend the slide that once the animation has played it will stick and extend the slide there for a number of seconds again this is done in frames so you need to play around with these two the focal point may not actually be the very end of the slide so you might need to use extend slide you might be better off using the delay fly, uh, slide viewpoint but those that's what those two options are there for so by using slides we can create a part of a presentation obviously a presentation will be made up of more than one slide so let's just add another one for the sake of it to have a, a look okay and then you would modify that with your own text and, and color and everything else as well clicking on an individual slide will preview the slide here if you want to see the full presentation you can click on the preview at the top and then this will play the full slide I think I might have let me just go back a second and just remove these extensions so it plays a little bit quicker let's try again so the first slide finishes and then the second slide continues and what you would then do is you can add your audio and we'll look at that in a later video but for now have a play around with the different options for the different slides have a look at the different slides the animated slides that come with explain Dio and see what you can adjust and how you can adjust it you've seen this type of sales video I'm sure where the text comes flying off the screen and that's how they did it with this software okay so in the next video we are going to have a look at a different type of slide in fact it's a sketch scene and a sketch scene is several slides grouped together into a scene and it's very similar to the sort of video you get with whiteboard software like EasySketch Pro. Well, Explaindio can do that as well. So let's have a look at that in the next video.